Hi guys, I hope you're all staying safe and well during the lockdown period of the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's talk about three SEO tips that will help you with your website today. Number one, which is a pretty basic one, most WordPress operators uh, are familiar with this, but you may not be, so I'll mention it today. It's the Yoast SEO plugin. There's a free version and also a premium version. The free version is totally fine to get started with, and what it will do, it will allow you to set your focus keyword phrase and your meta description. Now what that means is when your Google listing shows up on the Google search results, you can tell Google what you'd like to show there, being the meta description. Now the focused keyword is something Something like if you're selling shoes you'll put shoes into the focus keyword you will suggest to Google the uh, the keyword content of that particular page or post now the premium Yoast version has uh, more than one focus keyword or phrase you can put multiple focus keywords or phrases in there it is definitely worth its money and I do suggest that you install the Yoast premium SEO plugin on your WordPress site today Number two, blog posts. Now, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but blog posts are essential with helping with your SEO. Now, when someone comes to us for SEO work and we do an SEO audit, the first thing we usually find is there is not nearly enough blog posts on their website. Now, you may have a website that is like a brochure style website that is not really a content driven website, but is really just there to showcase your business. That's fine, but I still suggest that you consider putting a blog uh, uh, section on your website. Write about articles that you are an authority on and Google will recognize that your website is offering content of value and it will rank you higher. Now what you can also do is you can sprinkle keywords throughout the blog posts. So what you would do, you would go to something like uh, the Google keyword search tool and search for uh, keywords that are relative to your topic. Okay, it's pretty easy to do. Now you would grab those top 10 keywords and sprinkle them throughout your blog post. Then when Google spiders are crawling your website, they will recognize that you are offering up the keywords that are relative to the topic you're talking about and they will rank your site higher, therefore increasing your SEO score. And that brings us to number three, providing valuable and free content. Now, this can be in the form of blog posts, which we've just talked about, but it can also be in the form of video or a combination of the two. Now, what Google has been recognizing in the last couple of years is uh, websites that offer up content, offer up authoritative content free of charge. So, of course, that means blog posts, but it, it can mean video as well. So it's very important, guys, that you take the time each week or each month to populate your website with uh, valuable content content that is going to help people who are reading about uh, the type of content that, that you are offering up. So let's talk about a dental clinic, for example. If you're operating a dental clinic, you might talk about uh, root canals or uh, wisdom teeth or something like that. You would write an article on wisdom teeth and do a short video and put the two together and put it on your website and away you go. Now, I would advise 3,000 words or more. I know that sounds like a lot to write. Uh, if you can't do 3,000, at least do one or 2,000. 3,000 words is better. It has been proven that Google prefers long form articles. So guys, I hope those three SEO tips have helped you with your business today. If you need any more help, please reach out via the link above or below. Thanks very much and stay safe. Bye.